Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Um, I was going to do a video of some more of the auction, online auction stuff that I have picked up lately, but I went to a flea market yesterday and I thought I'd do a quick video and show off some of the stuff I got for, um, the guy was basically selling them five for a dollar. So everything that I'm going to show you is 20 cents. And the first thing I got here is Battle World Marvel Zombies number one with uh, Elsa Bloodstone on the cover. Uh, I almost bought this on Macari, but uh, I'm glad I didn't because I would have spent more than 20 cents. He had number one and number two and number three. So I'm missing number four. I'm going to have to pick that up somewhere. Um, the next one I got here was uh, Fantastic Four 558. I thought there was something significant with this uh, issue, but I, I'm not sure if there is or not. Uh, this one I got, Machine Man 2020. I did not know that they reprinted the um, 1980s um, Barry Windsor Smith comic. So he only had number one. It gets, I guess it's a two-part or a two-issue reprint series. Like It does one and two and three and four, but he only had number one. Um, I got a random Black Lightning uh, issue, number 11. It's in really nice sh shape for 20 cents. Um, Secret Society of Super Villains, number one special. Um, that was 20 cents. Curse of Spawn, number 12. Um, that's the first appearance of that lady. I can't remember her name offhand. Um, another random elf comic to keep going with my run that I'm trying to complete. Uh, he's got 50 issues, so it's going to be hard, and I'm going to have a hard time finding that one with the warriors on it. Um, but we'll see. Uh, X-Men Adventures, number one. The first appearance of Morph in comics. And then he had a couple of uh, Emma Frost. These are really sharp uh, Greg Horn covers. He had um, number seven, number nine, number ten, and number eleven. Then there was this issue of something. I never saw this before either. I think it's a four-part series, The Infinity and Entity. So that was just cool. His um, Adam Warlock on it. It's a, a, an homage to the Power of Warlock number one cover, I believe. Um, there's a, He got the variant to Doctor Strange number one, the action figure variant I picked up. Um, a Year of Marvels, The Amazing number one. I'd never seen that before. It looked interesting. Um... The new Captain Marvel, number 17. Um, that's the first, first appearance of Phyla Bell, I believe. Uh, 20 cents. Mockingbird, number one, 20 cents. And then a, a, a Comet Man, uh, number one, for 20 cents. So I got all those from there. Um, then I hit up another vendor. Uh, he had his comic for 50 cents. So I looked through there and I found a bunch of cool books. I never saw this before. Um, it's an Amazing Spider-Man variant for the first issue. It's a Mini Mates um, variant, obviously. And it's from the Diamond Retailer Summit of 2014. So um, I picked that one up for 50 cents. I got a few Fantastic Fours. Uh, number 244, uh, Frankie Ray becomes a Herald of Galactus. Uh, 252. This is the sideways one that has the tattoos in it, like the Amazing Spider Man 238. Um, Fantastic Four 272. I don't, I still understand people are freaking out about this book that, you know, it's got something to do with Kang. Um, and I mean, it's selling for crazy money, so I picked them up anyway. 272 and 273. I might just sell them if people are dumb enough to think that that's something, then more power to them. Um, 352, I believe that's the first uh, Mo Mobius from the Time Variant uh, Authority. Um, G.I. Joe number 50. That's the first appearance of somebody. I can't remember. Um, let me get rid of these. Incredible Hulk. 325, just the anniversary cover. Uh, 326... That might be the first Rick Jones as the Hulk. Um, an X-Men number seven, another Ome early Omega Red appearance. People are going crazy for this one too, so I picked it up for 50 cents. X-Men number 11, a classic Jim Lee cover that everybody all of a sudden really, really loves and keeps buying up for crazy prices. Um, Wolverine number 17, another one. 
just a John Byrne cover, but all of a sudden everybody really loves this book and they're buying it for, you know, $20 up. Um, this one kind of died down, Avengers West Coast, number 56. Um, first Scarlet Witch uh, as a bad person, I guess. Um, this, the thing number 35, um, first new uh, Miss Marvel, or that's the version, a new version of Miss Marvel. Um, then Web of Spider-Man number 70 was the first Sp Spider-Man Hulk. So I picked that one up. Again, these are all from a 50 cent dealer. Then I was really surprised he had all of these for 50 cents too. And these are like in really nice shape. And I looked through them and they're all complete. Um, Marvel team up number two. Marvel team up number three. I think that's like the third appearance of Morbius in there, in that one. Um, this is just the early appearance of, uh, or first time Spider-Man and the Vision team up, I think, or I don't know what that is, but anyway, it was 50 cents. Uh, this is the first appearance of Basil Basilic, Basilisk, um, so Marvel team up 16. This one's got a couple of rings on it. I don't know, like circles from something, but that's the first Stegron, so I picked that one up for 50 cents. Here's a, I think that just a first uh, uh, like brother voodoo outside of strange tales maybe um but anyway first time that he teams up with spider-man obviously uh, then there was a couple of these marvel team up 68 so uh with the man thing i think that's the first appearance of despair i think that's right i don't know there's two of them um so i picked them both up 50 cents uh, this one, Marvel Team Up number 79, that's uh, Spider-Man and Red Sonja. That's where Mary Jane takes, uh, Red Sonja comes into to our time through Mary Jane's body. Um, Marvel Team Up number 81, uh, I believe that's the death of Satana. Um, Spar Marvel Team Up Guardians of the Galaxy and Spider-Man number 86. That's the first appearance of somebody too. I can't remember who. Um, Marvel team up annual number one, Spider-Man and X-Men, just a really uh, early crossover other outside of Marvel team up. Um, I think 53 or 54 was the first time, or no, this, this goes, this is the first time that he teamed up with the new X-Men because then in team Marvel team up 53 or 54, whichever one John Byrne took over, that's the follow up to this story. And that's where, um, that was the first time John Byrne drew the X-Men too. Um, Captain America 307 was in there for 50 cents, the first Mad Cap. Here's the first Flag Smasher, 312 for 50 cents. First D Man, 50 cents. Captain America No More, number 332. Uh, then Who Will Be Captain America, 333. So I was really happy to get, pick up all these for 50 cents, I'll tell you. Um, because a lot, a lot of these, like, people think the Captain Americas aren't worth anything really either. So, um, but I picked them up. Number 334. I think that's battle, first appearance of Battlestar as Bucky, I think. Here's just 337, an homage to Avengers number 4. Uh, 341, classic. That's an homage to another cover, Captain America versus uh, Iron Man. And then finish it up with some Marvel Ages. Um, number 29 is, a, uh, I guess, a key for something. This has got, number 31 has an early Thundercats um, preview or something in it. This is just a nice uh, Marvel Age, number 74 with Moon Knight on it. This... 76 with uh, She-Hulk in a bikini is a good, nice cover. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Marvel Age, a first preview of X-Force. And then I picked this one up because John Romita Sr. is my favorite comic book artist of all time, pretty much. So I picked that one up. Um, and again, those were all 50 cents. And then the guy um, just threw these in randomly. Spider-Man and Batman team up. Batman and Spawn, the DC version, and then Batman and Punisher. So yeah, so it was a pretty successful um, 
trip to the flea market. So uh, I hope you liked the, the this video and uh, you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, I appreciate everybody watching and give, leaving me comments when they can. Um, I'll be doing another video of some more of the auction stuff that I picked up recently. So watch out for that. And other than that, uh, thank you again for watching and good luck out there hunting for comics. And uh, see you later. Bye.